as a reminder in the previous part I provided Bible evidence which shows that at the end of the current age we are living in the armed forces of the Assyrian Antichrist Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi will destroy the Jewish temple during the prophesied Islamic invasion of Jerusalem here's that verse again Ezekiel chapter 23 verse 39 so after they slaughtered their children in honor of their idols then on that same day they entered into my sanctuary and desecrated it that is what they did inside my house further evidence which confirms that the armed forces of Assyrian Antichrist Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi will destroy both Jerusalem and the Jewish temple can be found in the following Bible verses Daniel chapter 9 verses 26 to 27 the people of the prince who is to come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary and he shall make a covenant with many the Jews for one week and in the middle of the week he will force an end to the sacrifices and offerings it's also important to remind you that the Bible verses I showed you earlier in part 2 explicitly state that Aholah, which is Samaria, will be killed off before Aholibar, Jerusalem, gets invaded by Islamic nations. This is confirmed in the following verses. Ezekiel chapter 23 verses 9 to 24. Therefore I have delivered Aholah, Samaria, into the hand of her lover, Asher the Assyrian, whom she lusted after. He and his companions discovered her nakedness and took her sons and daughters and they killed Aholah with the sword and she became famous among women for they had executed judgment upon her therefore Aholibar thus saith the Lord God behold I will bring your lovers against you from every direction those same nations whom you turned away in disgust the Babylonians and all the Chaldeans the men of Pekod, Shoah and Koah and all the Assyrians with them all desirable young men governors and commanders officers and men of renown mounted on horses they will come against you with chariots, wagons, a vast horde of people. They will set themselves against you on every side with buckler and shield and helmet. And I will turn you over to them for punishment and they will punish you according to their customs. 
Okay, so when it explains that Aholar, Samaria, is killed off before Aholibar, Jerusalem, is invaded. This is another way of saying that Samaria, the Upper West Bank, will be destroyed before Jerusalem is invaded. The Bible verses found in Isaiah chapter 10, which describe the end of days character called the Assyrian, actually strengthens the evidence that Samaria will be destroyed before Jerusalem is invaded by Muslims. Here are those verses. Isaiah chapter 10 verses 10 to 11. For the Assyrian boasts, as my hand seized the kingdoms of the idols, kingdoms whose images were greater in number than those of Jerusalem and the West Bank. Shall I not deal with Jerusalem and her images in the same way that I dealt earlier with Samaria, the Upper West Bank, and her idols? In the Quran, there is a famous Islamic prophecy which explains that in the last days there will be an Islamic invasion of Jerusalem. Okay, so going back to the Bible, in Isaiah chapter 10, it actually provides us with map directions detailing the travel route that the Assyrian Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi and his army will journey along as they travel from the Upper West Bank down into Jerusalem where they will invade. Here are those verses. Isaiah chapter 10 verses 28 to 32. The Assyrian arrives at Ayath. He has passed Migron. At Michmash he attends to his equipment. They cross over the pass and take up camp at Geba. Fear strikes the town of Ramah. The people of Gibeah, the hometown of Saul, run for their lives. Scream out in terror, you people of Galim, so that you can be heard as far as Laish. O poor Anathoth, the inhabitants of Madmenar have fled. The people of Gebim seek refuge. On that day, he halts at Nob. He shakes his fist at the city of the daughter of Zion on the hill of Jerusalem. Okay, so when the Assyrian Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi arrives in Jerusalem with his Islamic invasion force, they will destroy the Jewish temple. This is further supported by the following Bible verse. Daniel chapter 11 verse 31. His armed forces will desecrate the temple stronghold and he will put an end to the daily sacrifices. Then they will set up the abomination that causes desolation. Thanks for listening.